Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful chess problem for you composed by a Finnish and a Russian chess player and theorist Karl Friedrich Janisch. Janisch published this problem under the title Tamburlain's Iron Cage. Tamburlain, a malapropism of Timur the Lame, was a Mongol conqueror and founder of the Timurid dynasty. He brought the triumphal procession of the Ottomans to an end when, in the Battle of Ankara in 1402, he won a crushing victory over the Ottomans under Sultan Bayezid I. Timur spared the life of the Sultan and instead imprisoned him in an iron cage in which he was carried around and displayed until the end of his days. This chess problem portrays how the black king, which represents the sultan, is shut up in a cage. Now, back to the problem. White to move and checkmate in 10 moves. Actually, white can even checkmate black king in 1 by playing knight g5. But the task is to checkmate black king in 10 in order to get that cage-like effect. Ready? First, white is playing f3 check. G takes f3. E takes d3 check, c takes d3, bishop f5 check, e takes f5, rook d4 check, c takes d4, a8 bishop check, bishop d5, rook e6 check, d takes e6, bishop takes d5 check, e takes d5, knight f6 check, g takes f6, now comes the queen, queen e5 check, sacrificing the queen as well. F takes e5 and here comes knight g5 checkmate. Look at the splendid checkmate on the board. As I have already mentioned, the king represents the sultan and these pawns symbolize the cage in which the sultan is shut up. I really find this final splendid position very beautiful, which is geometrically very attractive. Your comments and questions, please. What do you think about this problem? Good luck.